So hello again, my name is Pranit and welcome to my Trading You Find Script series. In this video, we are going to create a Bitcoin regime indicator to identify trend of other cryptocurrencies. Alright, so let's start with the video. As we know that Bitcoin has some correlated currencies uh, which are Cardano, XRP, Litecoin and Ethereum and many more. But we are going to take these four coins for an example. And that is the reason I'm going to create the BTC regime indicator and try to determine or identify trend with this Bitcoin regime indicator in those four cryptocurrencies. All right, so now let's start. Let's start with the coding part. So we are going to create a simple regime indicator. So it is like BTC regime indicator. So the first thing as always, we create input controls. So the first is input dot int title is equals to title is equals to let's suppose a simple EMA and then default value is equals to 20, min value is equals to 1, max value is equals to 100, and step increment of 1. And then we create an EMA indicator. So it's EMA, TE.EMA, those. So you can see our TE.EMA has two parameters first is source and second is length. So source and then I forgot to create the assignment variable. So EML length is equals to and then EML length and then we use a multiple time frame function which is called as a request not security. So what are we going to do basically is take the Bitcoin prices and then calculate EMA on it. So BTC is equals to request dot security and then symbol will be btc us uh, sorry it will be binance and then btc us dt and then we have the time frame right yeah so time frame will be let's suppose uh, 60 minutes which is equal to one hour and then the expression, so the expression will be EMA. Alright, so we are just going to check if they have done everything right. Just plot BTC and then keep the overlay as true. Save and then add it to the chart. Go to 60 minutes. And we have the EMA over here, so it is basically a 20 period EMA, right? So 20 period EMA. So it is the 20,114.82, right? So let's go to XRP. And then see, it is 20,000. Correct, so it is almost, it is life, right? So the prices will change. Uh, what we will do is, we will go to the previous candle. At, at over here, it is 20,121. And then go to XRP. Yeah, it is 20,121. So we have everything right. And then go again to BTC. Yep, it is the same. Alright, so now we are going to create a condition like bullish and bearish condition. So bull is equals to close should be greater than this EMA, right? So it should be BTC. And we need to create one more uh, because we need the BTC close to be above the BTC EMA when we change from one chart to the another, right? So if we go to the Cardano chart, we do not need the Cardano close, we need the BTC close. So that is the reason. Uh, we are going to also calculate it for the close and then here it will be close. 
all right so btc close should be greater than the btc and there is equals to btc close should be less than the btc right and now let us create a color filter color filter is equals to bull if this condition is true i want color So it will be color green, and then the transparency I'm going to keep it as 50, and then there is bare. If this condition is true, I want the color to be red and transparency as 50, and if nothing is true, I want the color to be gray, and then. For wedding filter, we generally do background color, and then uh, the color filter over here. The overlay is false. Uh, save it and add it to the chart. Okay, so I'm just going to remove these two indicator and then add it to the chart. Yeah. So now you can see over here when the prices when the close is above the 20 EMA we are going to see a green color over here when the close is below the 20 EMA we are going to see a red color over here all right so now let's go to the cardano chart and see if everything is working right so here you can see that even when the prices are below the 20 EMA still our BTC regime indicator is green all right you can see it over here it is it is below it is below the 20 ema still our btc regime indicator is green why because btc regime indicator is taking the value from the btc chart and not from the cardano chart so this is a very great way to see what is the trend of btc and then taking positions in the cardano chart accordingly not just Cardano, I just said there are four correlated uh, currencies that goes well with crypto, which is the Cardano, uh, XRP, uh, Litecoin, as well as the Ethereum. Ethereum goes uh, great with uh, Bitcoin. So Ethereum and then USDT. Yeah. And we can see it over here. Even though the prices are below the 20 MA, our BTC has already turned green. Therefore, the chance of Ethereum also going to the upside is higher. So that is how you can take trades. And you can do this not just with EMA, you can do this with any indicator. So I'm going to give an example of an RSI indicator as well, like how you can use the RSI values or the ROC indicator as well. I'm going to share the uh, RSI indicator over here. And then uh, you can add many indicators like stochastic, ROC indicator, the directional movement index and many more. Uh, so this is how we can do with the EMA. So you can see it over here. The prices over here are below the EMAs. But over here, the BTC has already turned green. So the chances of Ethereum also turning green is higher. So you can see the prices. Once again, you can see the prices are going to the upside. So we got a kind of an early signal. So that is how you can watch the trend with the BTC chart. All right. Uh, so now let's just see with the RSI indicator. So instead of EMA, what are we going to do is we are going to calculate the RSI indicator. So TA dot RSI and this will be RSI length. Obviously, we need to change the conditions. 14 grid RSI. And then uh, the bull condition will be like we don't need the BTC close now, we just need the RSI indicator. And over here, the BTC value of the RSI. So, over here, what we are going to do is if the BTC RSI is above the 60 level, it will be green, if it is below the 40 level, it, it will be red. All right, so RSI greater than 60, not the RSI, the BTC. BTC is nothing but the RSI, 
uh, but we need the PTC value, not the uh, not the value of Ethereum that we have on the chart. So if we take RSI, it will take this the Ethereum RSI value. But if, if we take BTC, it will calculate the BTC value no matter what chart we are on. All right. So BTC should be greater than sixty, should be less than the forty. All right. Safe. All right. So RSI length over here. Yeah. So let's just go to BTC and just check if we have done everything right. So we don't. So we don't need the EMA. We need the RSI, right? All right. Sorry. Sixty and forty. So you can see over here when the RSI when the RSI crosses and closes above the sixty level, you can see the uh, the BTC regime indicator is turning green. So whenever the RSI will be above the sixty, it will turn green. Whenever the RSI will be below forty, it will be turning red. Right. So obviously we can. It is not a hard and fast tool that we have to keep sixty and forty level. We can also keep the center value, which is the fifty. But this is something that you have to do when I will when I will share you the code. So check what works the best, uh, what level works the best, what length works the best to gauge the trend uh, with the B when we compare BTC with other cryptocurrencies. All right. So I'm just going to pull the Ethereum over here, and then. RSI value sixty and forty. So you can see the RSI value is below the sixty, but still this is green. So everything is working right. And now you can see that uh, when the BTC is turning green, this is also the price is also rising to the upside. You can see we have red. Uh, the, this is where the BTC RSI went below 40. That is the reason we are getting red over here. And when you are when we are into a sideways market, it is turning green. So obviously that this is there is no hard and fast tool that we have to use the EMA or BTC. EMA is a very well uh, indicator uh, when we try to trend trade. So EMA works. Uh, EMA works great to be honest. Uh, then the RSI, if we are trying to look where the prices are going. You can see it over here as well. Uh, it turned green, and the prices are rising to the upside. So I will always choose EMA uh, instead of RSI if I'm if, if I'm trying to watch the trend. But it still it but it still it like it completely depends upon you what uh, indicator that you want to use. All right. So basically, this is with the BTC regime indicator. Uh, just remember that. I have created many day trading strategies, pullback trading strategies, as well as swing trading strategies. Uh, the link of all those videos will be in the description, so make sure to check those videos out. And if you don't understand any part of the code, that is absolutely all right. I'm going to share you the whole code. All you have to do is go to indextradingstrategies.com. The link is in the description, and then go to contact us page, and you can just uh, drop me a text over here, and I will send you the code right away. And if you have any doubts regarding this video, so please reach out to me, and I will and I will make sure to solve all your queries. All right. So basically, this is it with the video. If you like this video, please subscribe and let me know in the comment section below what you think about this trading indicator. All right. Thank you. See you in the next video.